Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the council chambers of the Cyber Tower in this brand new Let's Play Hexit series. I am playing this Hexit series with a few brothers from other freaking mamas, namely dudes from the Cyberdog Network crew, and they are Bego, Mud Dog, and Razor, and we are all playing on the same server up in this jazz, and if you guys want to follow their series, there are links to their channels in the description box below. But guys, this is my very first time playing Minecraft Hexit, and uh, I am going to, I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do, but what I do know is this is going to be free. Freaking sweet. So sit back and relax my cyber diggity dogs. Let's play some freaking Minecraft Hexit. So as I just mentioned, I am playing on a server with three other guys from the Cyberdog Network crew and uh, we can already see that they have been busy getting busy up in this jazz, man. We can see some seriously awesome stuff already being built over here and we're going to go take a look at what these guys have built already on the server in this episode. But first and foremost, guys, I need to get myself prepared for some freaking Hexiting. Um, we are currently in the Cyberdog Tower. This is basically the central hub for all of the Cyberdog Network crew to sort of meet up and to store materials. And uh, as we can see, we've got a whole bunch of storage boxes and stuff around here. Um, in here, we are, um, Bego and Mud Dog have already started working on collecting a whole bunch of ores, some gems, gems, some decoration, mossy cobblestone, all that sweet ass jazz. And then up here, I do believe there's a whole bunch of other jazz. We can see that uh, the guys have already put down some armor sets for use there's already a chest for tools for weapons for armor so you know what guys we might as well start off by just collecting ourselves some jazz over here let's pick up an iron pickaxe let's uh, pick up one of these spades also this Freserite spade that sounds pretty sweet i'll pick up that Freserite spade and i i think i'll pick up a stone axe also let's have a look uh do we have any weapons up in this jazz damn son an iron giant sword that looks like something out of final fantasy i think i'll take me one of those and uh have we got any armor in here oh some iron armor so a big thanks to mud dog burger and razor who have obviously been doing a little bit of work collecting some jazz already so uh, i'm I'm just going to help myself to some sweet ass loots if you don't mind. Man, I'm looking pimp already. Damn. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> Down here, of course, is a whole bunch of other materials. And what I want to do now, guys, is while I go and have a look at what the guys have built around the cyber tower already i want to talk about the rules of this series so we have set an unwritten rule in this let's play hexit series that you are not allowed to craft anything out of uh, blocks that you have crafted you are only allowed to craft stuff out of stuff that you pillage from npc villages uh, th that surround the cyber tower so if we want to build anything we are going to firstly have to find a village or a tower or any sort of npc structure and pillage the jazz out of that village um, and th and then we can use those blocks that we gather from those pillaged areas to build the stuff that we want we have also all been assigned a different district of this map and uh, let's quickly bring up the map and i can show you exactly what i'm talking about so um, currently, this little island over here that you see, this is Mud Dog's district. So this is the Mud Dog district, this little peninsula island. And then this little bay area over here with all of this jazz over here, this is the Bago district. So he's only allowed to build in this district. And this forest over here is the Razor district. And Razor's only allowed to build in here. And my district, and uh, I think I probably chose the most difficult district um, <laughs> out of all of them, is this giant ass ravine. This ravine that actually runs underneath the cyber tower is my district this is my new home and uh, we're going to be building some sort of dwarven fortress down here and it is going to be epic man i got some seriously sweet plans basically i want to build um a, a sweet ass fortress like the dwarves have in the movie the hobbit have you guys seen that not the dwarves sorry the hob um the goblins i want to build like a sweet sweet goblin city down here man with um with bridges going across um, the, the, the ravine with different rooms and caves and whatnot in here, but that is going to be awesome. Um, but of course, I'm not going to be able to build any of that stuff unless I find a whole bunch of materials to do that. And I think the best start for us to do this is to actually find an abandoned mine shaft somewhere in this giant ravine and then pillage the jazz out of that abandoned mine shaft. Uh, and then we can actually start working on, on building our actual structures. But I do want to say that 
Our district is looking kind of freaking boring right now, man. I want to get some freaking trees up in here, man. You know, currently our district is literally a giant butthole in the earth. And, uh, you know, I want to I want to get some trees around this butthole, man. I want to get this 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 uh, this district looking really, really awesome. So um, I think what I'm going to do is head over to Mud Dog's district first. He's actually quite kindly offered to give me some saplings. And he said to me that uh, I can actually pillage his storage boxes of some saplings as long as I don't take all of them so let's let's head over to to Mud Dog's district and have a look what he's actually built over here it looks like Mud Dog and Bego have connected their districts via this sweet ass bridge over here man this is this is freaking Pimp McDaddy damn and uh, I'm loving what what Mud Dog is doing over here it looks like he's going for some sort of oriental uh, style roof build over here, which is really, really sweet. This looks like his um, his his workshop over here. Now, guys, I have to warn you, I'm a complete hexit noob. I mean, I've played a whole bunch of Minecraft vanilla, a whole bunch of Minecraft Feed the Beast, and I think I know what I'm doing in those games or in those mods, but in this, this mod, I am literally starting from scratch. I have no freaking idea what is going on around here, man. What are all of these things? A tool forge? What is this? A tool station? What the jazz? A stencil table? A, a pattern chest? A part builder? What in what in the jazz is going on over here, guys? Seriously. No idea what's going on. You guys are going to have to help me, man. I know what this is. This is a, a, a freaking anvil, and this is a crafting table. Okay, so at least I know what those two things are. Let's just have a sleep in, uh, in Mud Dog's bed. Uh, I, I'm sure he won't mind. I'm not going to wash the sheets, though, so sorry, MD. <laughs> All right, so this looks like his workshop of some kind, and this looks like his house. Man, that is looking pimp. Damn, MD, you are doing some good work over here, dude. That is looking absolutely awesome. Um, I'm, I'm on the hunt for saplings, though, saplings, though, so if I find any saplings in one of my dog's chests, I'm going to pillage them. I'm going to freaking pillage them. This says sword. Hmm, that's kind of weird. What kind of tree is that? Man, that is an awesome tree. Well, MD's palace is looking kind of pimp, man. It's got like an awesome carpet going on over here. Um, there's, there's, this says armor. What the jazz? Oh, oh, it's a bookshelf. Oh, that is epic. So you can put books in a bookshelf. That's very cool. Um, right, I'm assuming that, hmm. Where is MD's freaking storage facility, man? That is my question. There's a pimping ass balcony over here. Does this go up into the roof over here? Let, let, let's let's head up here. He's actually not online at the moment, so this is a good time to do some freaking pillaging of his stuff. <laughs> let's go all the way. Oh, he's got an enchanting room up here. That is awesome. That is awesome, man. I am so far behind, man. I have I I have so much to freaking craft in this series. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to play a ridiculous amount of, of hexa to catch up to these dudes, man. Check how much sweet ass jazz they built around here already. But I don't see any storage. Hmm. MD, where are you hiding your storage, my friend? Oh! It was a trap! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, it doesn't look like I, I've been able to locate MD's storage area. Which is probably a good thing. That means he's hidden it really, really well. And uh, <laughs> he's hidden it from the prying fingers of Rendog, man. And uh, check how sweet this is. He's even got, like, uh, some broken blocks in here. That's very cool. Very, very nicely done, man. And there doesn't seem to be anything in this particular chest. And if we look at the map, um, it doesn't look... Okay, so he's only got two buildings over here. So his storage stuff must be up in his workshop over here. Uh, my dog, I'm, I'm looking for your storage, man. When I find it, it is getting the jazz pillaged out of it. But it looks like I'm... Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here's some freaking chests up in this chest. Sweet. All right, here's some saplings. Willow saplings, oak saplings, eucalyptus saplings. Oh, that's the pink one, right? Uh, palm tree saplings. I think I'll take some willow saplings, some oak saplings. I'm not into these pink trees, I gotta say, man. So I think I'll leave those. Any other saplings up in this jazz? I don't want to take any of his stuff, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave all of his stuff over here. But I think uh, willow saplings, oak saplings. You know what? I'll take some eucalyptus saplings, actually. Yeah, I'll take some of those. All right, sweet. Thank you, mud dog. And man, the mud dog district is looking very, very cool. Let's head over to the Bago district and have a look what old bego has been up to. Looks like he is building... Hmm, it, that looks like some sort of British observatory. And what in the jazz is that? A green chocobo? Damn, son, that is some weird... That is some weird stuff going on in Take It, man. I'm, I'm sorry, in Hexen. I don't, I don't know what any of this is, man. But let's have a look. What has Bago been up to? Oh, oh, my goodness. Hello. What is Kraken? Oh, this is... This is awesome. This is... 
this is some sort of chocobo pen, I guess. Man, that's looking awesome. And man, they, they make some serious noise also. And check it, Bego's palace, man. This is looking awesome. He's got like some sort of pimp villa going on over here. This is like something from Grand Theft Auto, man. This is sweet. What do you got in these chests? Man, Bego has been busy. Check it, all of this fire grenades, water grenades. What the heck? Be I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure if MD has caught up to Bego, but I think that Bego is certainly the, the best hex player in the group at the moment. Well, it certainly looks like it. Look at all of this jazz that he's got going on up here, man. What is all of this? These swords are in rocks. What the freak? What is that? Man, that is some pimp armor. Man, check out all the books he's got. Oh, this is epic. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we kind of know just from looking at what we've got going on over here. And what is this? Oh, this looks like Bego's um, to-do list. Chocobos, get him, ride him, breed him. Nether portal, need obsidian, also butts. <laughs> oh, Bego. Um, all right, so that looks like what Bego needs to do in his series. I, I, again, guys, if you want to watch Mud Dog or Bego doing their Hexa Jazz, go to the links in the de description box below. They are they are all doing their own thing. Uh, looks like Mud Dog's got his own plan over here. Bego's got his own plan over here. And um, if, if we quickly have a look at the map to Razor's district, doesn't look like Razor has started yet. So um, nothing to show you on that side of things. But guys, we are now ready to begin playing some freaking Minecraft Hexit. And uh, let's head back to the Cyber Tower and back to the Rendog district and get some of these sweet ass trees planted around the giant butthole that is going to become our home. Um, currently, you know, it's it's looking really bare. It's literally just a slit in the earth. And, uh, you know, I want to do something about that. So let's head around the cyber tower. This cyber tower was actually constructed by MD um, before we started the series, and that's why it's in place. And this is basically the place where we all gather when we do our group videos. And it's a place where everybody um, drops off communal loot. So if you go on a, a if one of us goes on a pillaging mission, or we go on a pillaging mission in a group mission, we come to this storage area over here and drop off all the stuff. And we can actually use anything from these chests to build uh, our buildings and to to build our districts and anything else we stick up here on this floor over here so anything that we need to build we are only allowed to use materials out of this chest or out of materials that we pillage ourselves from npc areas so those are the rules we got to follow them um and the basically basically the idea is to build up a giant cyber dog city in this entire area over here so connecting my district to mud dogs district to bear goes district to Razor's district we want to build up an awesome city but we want to build the city out of materials that we pillage only so you know it's kind of a very difficult um task to do i think it's kind of a, a pretty sweet ass challenge if i do say so myself instead of just you know, crafting and building like normal. We have set for ourselves like a little bit of a different challenge. And I think that's going to be awesome. But the first thing I want to do, guys, is get a little forest going on around our, our butthole slit over here. Man. Let's plant some oak trees, some willow trees, some eucalyptus trees, and just get the Rendog district looking a little bit more jungly. You know, as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of, uh, of jungles. Uh, <laughs> considering the mole hole in my Let's Play Minecraft Survival seri series is in a giant jungle biome. And uh, I, I tend to gravitate towards jungles a lot. So, you know, the more trees we can get around the Rendog district, the better. Let's, uh, those were willow saplings. Okay, cool. Um, let's get some oak saplings up in here too. And let's, 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 let's put the odd eucalyptus sapling around this jazz too. And uh, let's get a few more oak saplings going too. And we got, I mean, what is this jazz? Man, we got a, a whole bunch of sunflowers. That's pretty cool. No idea what that does though. What are these things? Man, there are so many different plants and stuff in Hexit. This is so awesome. Oh man, I cannot wait to, to actually figure out what the heck we are doing. I think the, the, the very first task that I'm going to do is try and get all of those crafting tables that we saw in Mud Dog's house. Because I'm assuming that we need all of that jazz uh, for something. For what? I have no idea. Um... <laughs> I guess to craft some awesome tools and awesome materials and stuff. I don't think Hexit is like Feed the Beast, right? Like, you, there, there, there aren't machines and stuff to make. I think it's more of an item-based uh, mod, which is awesome. Uh, because we're going to probably need some epic items to be able to, to do pillaging. Okay, I've got an idea, right? I want to get to a point where we have some really awesome items that will really help in our pillaging. So, for example, if we can make some really epic pickaxes and some really epic spades and, and, um, and 
axes that will help us pillage villages much quicker, then that is kind of what I want to be doing, I think. So I think that's going to be my first task, to look into making a really sweet ass pickaxe, a really sweet ass spade, and a really sweet ass axe. And uh, then what we're going to do is try and find uh, an abandoned mine shaft and then pillage the jazz out of that abandoned mine shaft. And uh, this, man, this forest is going to be, this is going to be a pretty epic forest. <laughs> awesome. Let's get a, let's just put the last, there's a space over there that needs some forestry. So that is going to be my plan, guys. Build some epic tools, find an abandoned mine shaft, pillage the mine shaft, build um, our very first room and our very first house inside of our district down here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do this. I think we're probably going to have to make a water vator and then dig into the side of one of these uh, mountains over here to make for ourselves a little room or something. So hmm, that's probably the first thing that we need to do. Actually, I think we. I think before we even start thinking about epic tools and going to find an abandoned mine shaft, I think we probably need to get ourselves going with a room and a bed. Because <laughs> uh, currently we are bedless. Currently we have no bed. We have nowhere to sleep. Um, we are basically homeless right now, man. And uh, you know, that's kind of sad. <laughs> so let's head in here, man. Is there anything that we can find in here? Hmm. Oh, I know where. There's a bed upstairs. Yeah, there's a bed over there. I think this was actually my bed from the group video. And if you guys haven't seen the very first group video, go check it out. It's There's a link in the description box below. Um, let's pick up that bed. And I, I think I want to try find a bucket of water. Bucket of water. Tools. No, there's no there's no water in there. Maybe we can find some urn down here. Hmm. Stone brick. Nope, doesn't look like there's any water down here. Nope. Nope, no water. Or no iron either, so we, we're not going to be able to make a bucket. Refined wood. No. Okay, so. <laughs> it's going to be up to me, actually, to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is head into my district. And um, I, think I think we can literally get in there just by making a staircase down the side of the district. And the night time has come, so I think I probably want to get this done pretty quickly. Let's let's just make a little staircase down the side of our sweet ass ravine over here. And uh, yeah, let's see. Hmm, man, a water vader would really really help me right now. Really really help me. I'm tempted to go and steal some iron from uh, the other guys, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. Let's keep this jazz legit, man. I ain't going to do any thieving. Right, so we could try and make a little staircase going down like this. I don't have any torches though. That's bad. Okay, this is gonna this is actually gonna work quite nicely. Check it out. We could make a staircase following the contours of this uh, ravine like this, right? So eat. There we go. Yeah, that works. That works nicely. Awesome. And what we can do is just pimp out the staircase a little bit also at some point. Yeah, that's looking sweet. And then I think we'll come around the corner. This is this looks like quite a nice level for the first the very first room, right? Yeah. Yeah, this looks like a like a good little spot for the first room. I don't have any torches though. That's not good. Well, we should probably get, yeah, we should probably get a torch. Oh, the willow trees are sprouting. Man, that looks awesome. Oh, that is sweet. All right, let's, uh, let's get some wood. I'm gonna steal some wood from Razor's jungle, Soz Razor. I need me some weird. Because I need to make some torches. It's nighttime, but there's no spawning going on uh, yet, which is sweet. <laughs> um, I think if mobs did start to spawn, I would be in some serious freaking trouble, man. Come on, Rain Dog, up there. There we go. So sweet. Right. Let's try and find a bit of weird. There's a bit of weird. Ah, thank you. All right. Sweet. Make some sticks. And I think I saw some uh, some coal down there at the bottom of my my bottle <laughs> if you know what i'm saying uh right where where's our staircase again hmm here we go 
Here it is. This looks like coal over here, right? Yeah, this looks like coal. Coal, get in my belly! No! Freaking coal! There we go. Did I get some coal? Nope. Coal! Sweet! Alright. Well, we've cut, we've dropped to the bottom of our ravine now. At least we get a better view of what's going on here. Um, and let's build another staircase up. You know what? This, this is actually quite sweet. What we could start doing is building a whole ton of staircases. Um, and then that'll kind of keep the whole district looking quite natural. You know, like the, the, the city that we're going to build down here is going to have a whole bunch of naturally dug out staircases. That's going to look pretty awesome. And then what we can do is connect them with, uh, with bridges and whatnot. So that's cool. I like that idea. All right, let's get up here like this. Oh man, I keep breaking the, the freaking ground. All right, there we go. Okay, that's connect. Oh, that's connected perfectly, actually. Well, almost perfectly. Almost perfectly. We're gonna have to make the staircase do a little like turn over here. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's epic. Okay, awesome. So this staircase connects quite nicely up to this point over here. Let's just make some torches now. Bam! So we have a we have a sweet staircase coming from the bottom of the ravine all the way up to where we're going to be building our first room over here. And then the staircase goes up to the top like this. Sweet. Or we could make the staircase actually just go straight down like this. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better. There we go. So this goes straight down into the room. Okay, awesome. Let's get rid of the staircase over here. Man, this is th this is going to be tricky to do. Like building a building a house, like a square house is pretty easy, you know? But like basically molding a giant ravine into a huge city. Now that is a that is another story. <laughs> but this is epic. This is these this is the kind of crafting um, challenges that I really really like. You know, working with the natural environment, for example, to create like a um, a room or to create a structure. I think it's I don't know. I, there's just something about that that really appeals to me. I really like it. It's awesome. Um, but as you can see, guys, we're just using this iron pickaxe, and it is absolutely terrible. So definitely, one of my first tasks is going to be to try and get a better pickaxe. Um, I have no idea how to get a better pickaxe, but from what I've read so far in Take It, you can get things called modifiers, which can actually spruce up and jazz up your tools quite nicely. So um, maybe I'll try to find some modifiers or figure out how to actually modify this pickaxe, make this pickaxe a, a little bit better, um, make the spade a little bit better too, so that we can sort of hack hack through the, these walls really quickly and make like a really awesome uh, little first room over here. I think, yeah, I think this is looking good. It's, for some reason, whenever we start uh, Minecraft series, we always end up starting in a hole. <laughs> we always end up digging out the side of a mountain. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's because I'm a mole person, people. That's why. I asked, this, I asked you guys this question in the very first episode of Let's Play Minecraft Survival. And the question was, are you a mole person? And the answer to that question for me is, yes. Yes. I, yes. I am a mole person. All right. I kind of want to dig out a window over here, if possible. Let's have a look. Okay, there we go. So Sweet. Right, so that's going to make like an epic window over there. Cool. Okay, this is looking awesome, guys. This is going to be my new pad. Uh, let's, let's get our, our bed down here for now. And um, we can make a furnace. Oh, wait. We can't. I need a, I need a crafting table. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna need a whole bunch more wood and stuff also. And I think what we need to do is just fix the staircase like this. Okay, so wheat. Okay, awesome. This is looking good. So this is going to be my very first room, my very first house in this Let's Play Hexed series. I'm going to have to do quite a lot of work over here just to, to dig this room out a little bit more, gather some wood for a crafting table, and then start looking at um, building up my, my tool collection because currently my pickaxe is about to break and all I have left is this spade and this, this axe. Um, so in the next episode, guys, we are going to start working on building up 
a better tool collection, as well as looking at starting to find an abandoned mine, uh, mine shaft in this giant ash ravine so that we can start collecting some pillage materials uh, so that we can actually start crafting um, our district and not just have these holes in the walls. So guys, uh, unfortunately we've run out of time for this episode of Let's Play Hexen, but I really hope you have enjoyed it. And remember, if you want to watch uh, from the perspective of Mud, Mud Dog, Razor, or Bergo, check out the links in the description box below and keep your eyeballs open for the next group video, which should be coming very, very soon. But I can't wait to carry on playing, guys. I want to make my room a little bit better. I want to get some tools going. I want to get some of the, 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 the crafting tables that we require and all of that freaking sweet ass jazz. And we're going to continue doing Doing that in the next episode and uh, we're also going to need some sort of a farm now that i think about it we don't have any food so man we have got a butt ton to do and uh, it's going to be freaking sweet hope to see you guys in the next episode of let's play exit this is ren dog signing out from cyber city see you in the next video my friends goodbye